What is up everybody? I am Sean. This is Frank from Zenzele Fitness. We are here today to take you in every other minute on the minute workouts, all right? Using the Ikaya Gym Box, all right? So we're gonna be using the equipment that comes with the box. We're gonna be showing you a couple of cool exercises that you can use at home and an exercise to follow with it, all right? So he's gonna be doing the workout. I'm gonna be the trainer and we'll see you for a good warm-up. All right, everybody, we are here for the warm-up, okay? So what we're doing for the warm-up, we're gonna start off with a good skip. And after that skip, we're gonna take you through each uh, phase of the workout, each workout, um, and just get your body in the know-how, getting it knowing the movements and understanding the movements that you're gonna be going through on a small scale, all right? So we're gonna start with the skips, just to get that heart rate going. So let's go, Frank, with the skips. All right, so it's important to note at this point, as you know, if you've been through any workouts with me, uh, that it's, this is just about getting your heart rate up, get your blood flowing, get your body warm, your grooves grooving. All right. Okay, so you can do this for as long as you want. All right. Cool. So how the workout's going to work is that you've got uh, two minutes in each round, and you've got three exercises in each of those two minutes. So let's grab the, yes, let's grab for the bear hug. So you're gonna wrap your arms around. Now in the actual workout, you've got 16, 12 or 10 reps. So now decide, depending on how hard it is for you, on what that will be in the next part of the workout. Okay, so let's just do the nice demonstration for them of the bear hug squats. You go down and up, keeping that chest up. Good work. And up. Keeping the back straight, chest up. Good work. Keeping those heels into the floor. Okay, we've got the gladiator spins. So, you know how to do it. Now, for this one, if you're doing 10 reps, you do five one way and five the other way. So half, half. Okay, so we're gonna do four for now. So four each side, just show them how to do it. You swing the bag around, good. Getting a good stance on the floor. Okay, and other side, other way. And you swing it back around. It's all about the motion. Really going with the motion of it. Swing and catch. Good work. We've got the tube hinge next. We're gonna grab the tube. Pop our feet in there. You wanna try and get the, the tube in the middle of your foot so it doesn't pop out. Your feet uh, hip width or shoulder width distance apart around your neck and you hinge back tube hinge you go back and up keeping that back straight back and drive forward so you've got one two and shoot good stuff that is the first round the second round let's go the second set we've got touchdown so you want to jump up on top of the box you start at the top of the box good and we go down and up, down other leg and up. That's one. Down and up, down and up. That's two. Okay, awesome stuff. Next up, we got we get the bag. We got the push-ups. So I'm gonna pop that on the ground for you. And just like any other push-ups, like you would have your your hands under your shoulders, you grip it and you go out. And those elbows go in and we go. Just do a nice two reps for them there. Good. Just warming up that body. Cool. And keeping the bag, we bring our feet in and we do rows. So that's coming up. Same thing, elbows in and you're bringing the bag up. Good stuff. Keeping that back straight. Cool. And then finally, we end off with the skipping, which you've done already. So you don't need to do that, but we'll do 60, 75, or 90 seconds of the skip, but I know you're gonna push yourselves. All right, we'll see you for the workout. All right, we're gonna go through this every other minute on the minute workout. You are ready, I am ready, let us go. Okay, so remember we spoke about 16, 12, and 10 reps. You choose each exercise that we did in that warm up. You're going to choose how many reps you're going to do, but I want you to push yourself to the next level. So we're going to do the first. The first set is a bear hug, the bear hug squats, the gladiator spins, and the tube hinge. 
right? You're doing that for two minutes. And each of those have their reps. And when you're done with that, it's rest until we start with the next two minute section. Okay, are you ready? Let's grab, let's grab it for the bear hugs. Cool, the bear hug squats. Um, Frank over here today is gonna do 10, but you're gonna do 16, I know you. All right, cool, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Good stuff, man. Good, he's nice pacing himself. Good work, you've got two minutes to do these workouts. Nice, you've got your feet planted nicely into the ground, big toe, little toe, and heels into the floor. Good stuff, down, You're driving those hips forward at the top. Good stuff, knees in line with your toes. Don't bring them in or out, they stay dead in line. You can watch it happen. Good work. Last one, down and up. At this point, if you want to, you can take a quick break, but remember, you've only got two minutes to do all of this. So, we're going for the, uh, for the uh, gladiator spins. Let's go, three, two, one. Five one side, five the other side, or six one side, six the other, uh, yes, or eight one side, eight the other side. Let's go, good stuff, and other side. Two, three, four, five, good stuff. Okay, up next. We've got the tube hinge, grab that tube. You've got 45 seconds left. Put the tube in the middle of the foot so it doesn't shoot up into your face. Feet hip width or shoulder width distance apart. We go, we hinge, over and up, over and up. Good stuff. Hinge back, keeping that back straight. Yes, 10 of these. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick up the pace, you've got 15 seconds left. Good stuff. Up next, we've got touchdown, so get ready for that if you are ready. All right, let's pop down that tube. And we go up, start up. Three, two, start at the top, one. Let's go, touchdown, one. One, and up. Let's go, pick up the pace. Let's go, two, and up, good stuff. So he's doing 10 of these, you're doing 12 or 16. <laughs> I know you are. Good stuff, good stuff. You don't want to put too much of your weight down, it's just a touch on the floor and back up. Touch and back up. Good stuff, keeping those knees in line with your toes. Good work. All right, that's your last one. Down and up. Cool, we got the core bag push up. Let's get the bag, pop it on the floor. Yes, pop it on the floor. Let's go, straight into your push-ups. We go, 10, out, good. Two, three, can you see his core's tight? There's a straight line, good work. We've got one minute left, and up, core bag rows. So, let's release those knees slightly and pull it up, keeping that back straight. Let's go, good stuff. Keeping the elbows in. Nice, steady pace. You've got time now. Good work. 10 of those. All right, you've got a 40 second rest at this point. Drink some water, take a towel, dab the brow, do what you need to do. If, you keep, if you're still going, that's okay. Push yourself to the next level. Up next, we've got the skips. I'm gonna grab that bag out the way. You can grab the skipping rope so long. 20 seconds of rest left. Make it count. Yeah? Cool. We're gonna skip for 60 seconds, 75 seconds, or 90 seconds. Frank over here is gonna push it to the next level, all right? He's gonna do the 75 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom. Yeah! Keep going. If, it's, if you stop, it's okay. I mean, I think I would maybe do like, 10 in a minute because I'm terrible at skipping. And if you are, if you are bad at skipping, it's okay. We're, we're learning here, but we're gonna push ourselves to the next level. All right, keep going. Slow and steady, rinse and rest. If you need a moment to take a break, that's okay too. 
Let's get back into it. Good stuff. Let's go, Frank. Remember, keeping that core tight is important here. It's really, really um, important for all the exercises that we're doing today, that that core is activated for all of them. If your core is activated, most of the time you're going to be in good form. Yeah? Good work. Keep going. You've still got some time left. Yeah. Keep going. It's okay. Good. All good. I got it, I got it. You got it, you got it. It's okay, don't worry, but take it easy, take it easy. Good stuff. You see, obviously, as the body starts fatiguing, it becomes more difficult to do these things, and that's, that's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. All right, you've done it for a good 90 seconds. All right, you've got a 30 second rest. Good work. Okay, so let's use that rest wisely, set up for the next round for the bear hugs, squats. Grab some water, take a towel, grab the brow, and you're going straight into the next round. This is your rest. You've got 10 seconds left, so let's prep for the bear hugs. The bear hug squat. Okay, bear hug it. Let's go. We've got three, two, one. Let's go. 10 reps, 12 reps, or 16 reps. Today, Frank is doing 10. Good stuff. Remember, big toe, little toe, heels into the ground. Got a strong tripod, strong base. The squat needs to have that strong base, driving those heels into the ground. And at the top, really, whoop, ba! Squeezing into those grooves. All right, next one. We've got the gladiator spin. Grab the next exercise. We're gonna spin it around. If you're doing 10, you do half one way, half the other way. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And he's going other way because he's doing 10. But if you're doing more, that's okay. We can at least try and keep up with Frank here. He's solid. Yes, let's go. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, cut. You're on the next one. The tube hinge. So you grab the tube, pop your feet in there. Uh, shoulder width or hip width distance apart, making sure the tube is in the middle of your foot. And we put it over the neck and we go. Down, hinge and up. Hinge and up. Less about bending your knees and more about hinging forward. We go down and up. Down and up. Good stuff. Better, better, better. Cool. 10 of those for you, Frank. 16 for you watching. Okay, good stuff. All right, we're done. You've got 15 seconds rest before your next exercise. Your next exercise is the touchdown. So, we're gonna get on top of the box. So long, yeah, we're gonna get on top. Three, two, one, let's go. One, one, good stuff. Two. Two, let's pick up the pace. Three, three, good stuff. Four, keeping those knees in line with your toes. Keep it, remember we spoke about that tripod. You wanna have that tripod on that top, on the box. And when you come down, you're not transferring your weight onto the bottom, you're just tapping down. Yes. Oh, cool. Up. All right, next up, you got the bag push-up. So let's go into the bag. Go down. Let's go. When you're ready, you got 10 of these. Let's go. Three, two, one. Down. Elbows in. Nice and steady. Good stuff. All the way down, all the way up. Do them properly. Good work. Nice. Okay, into the bag rows. Cool, keeping that core tight, keeping the knees released. Good stuff. In. Good. Cool. You've got 30 seconds rest. All right, all right. Are you ready? You're gonna grab that water. 
Remember the next round is the skipping. All at your own time. So remember for the skipping, it's 60 seconds, 75 seconds, or 90 seconds. Old Frank over here, he's gonna do a good 90 seconder. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, nice and easy, it's your own time. Skipping for 90 seconds. If you feel like you can't push, it's okay, you stop, take a breather, take a sip of water, whatever you need to do, and keep going. It's about going at your pace. Every person is different. Frank over here, you can see he's quite the gymmer. So if you can't keep up with him, it's okay. <laughs> Let's go, Frank. Keeping that core tight. Remember, when the core is tight, it's safe to say that in a lot of exercises you're doing it correctly if the core is tight, yeah? Just think of that core, think of when you're landing in the floor, that you're landing through your knees and not with straight, stiff knees. Otherwise, you've got problems. Keep going. Good stuff. Nice, Frank. He's pushing, he's pushing. We've got 30 seconds left. Good stuff. You can see. The sweat is dripping down, the heart rate's going up. That's exactly what this is. The skipping is the finisher. There to finish you, that's okay. He stopped at the 75 minute mark, but I know that you have, that you're gonna push that 90, okay? So we've got 35 seconds rest. Take a sip of water, take a towel, dab the brow. We're gonna start again from the top for the third round, final round for the bear hug. The bear hug squat, there you go. Are you feeling good? Feeling awesome. Yeah, okay, he's got the guns, he's ready. He's ready for the last and final round. Cool. We're gonna grab that. Get ready for the final round. 10 seconds to the final round. Okay. Hug it. We go. Three, two, one. Squat it down. 10 reps. Up, down, and up. Breathe. What about getting that nice consistency in the breathing? Good stuff. You're at your own pace. Yes. After this, you've got gladiator spins. Let's grab the other bag. And let's do the gladiator spin. So, remember, half one side, half the other side. So, uh, he's doing 10. Let's go. Frank's doing 10. So, he's going to do five one side, five the other side. If you're doing 16, you're doing eight one side, eight the other side. And cool, other side. Let's go. Good stuff. You can see his knees are slightly released. Just keeping, that's just reminding you that your core needs to be tight. Cool. Next one, we got the tube hinge. Let's grab that tube and here. Cool. Feet, shoulder width distance, out you go. And you're gonna think about your bum pushing back and your body coming forward. Let's go, hinge it up, hinge it up, hinge. Hinge and drive those hips forward at the top. So it meets the tube. Good stuff. 10 of those, and then you're on a good rest. So make it count, push it, push it. Yes. Down and up. How many left? Last one, and good stuff. You're on a 25 second rest. Everyone else, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing. Quickly grab a, a sip of water. We're gonna do some touchdowns. Okay, actually, leave the water, because I see you don't have much left. Let's do the touchdowns. We've got 10 seconds to touchdown. So let's get on top of the box. Good stuff. Three, two, one. Remember to keep it a good tempo here. Yes, yeah. that's one. That's two. Good work. At this point, you're almost fully exerted. Your form might want to drop at this point. Don't let it. Think about it. Think about that core. Think about those knees aligned with your toes. Good stuff. Yes. All right. Cool. We've got four more. Let's go. 
This is a solid workout. I can see Frank is really burning. Good stuff. But when you're burning, it means you're working. All right. Let's grab the bag and then go straight into the push-ups. Come on, Frank. Come on, people. Zenzele Fitness Warriors. All of you out there, let's do this. Let's push. Three, two, one. You've got one minute left to do the uh, push-ups and the rows. Elbows in, keeping that form. If it's too difficult for you, you pop your knees on the floor. It's okay. Cool. Good stuff. All right, and up you go. Keeping those knees slightly released. Pop the bag up. Nice, steady flow. Elbows in. 10 of those, or 12, or 16. I know you're going to do 16. You're going to push yourself because it's the last round. 30 seconds rest. The last exercise is a skipping. Are you ready for it? Yeah, he's just nodding his head. I think he's, I think he's out of breath to even talk right now. That's okay. You got. 15 seconds. Still there. You're still there. Good, good, good. Okay, grab your skipping rope quickly. We've got 10 seconds, and then we go into the skip. And that is our final exercise, people. You made it to the end. Let's go. Let's go. Remember to do this at your own pace. It's you and that rope. You need to become one with the room. <laughs> yes, let's go! Woo! Push! I like it, I like it, I like it. Keeping that core tight. Landing through the knees, not onto the knees. Yes! If you need to start slowing down, you're, it's okay. You've still got quite a while left. You need to stop. That's also cool. I'm not a pro skipper. If the rope's getting in the way of your fitness, pop it down and pretend like you've got, you're doing the air skipping is what, what we call it. The air skipping. All right, keep going. You have 30 seconds left. If you can make it, I suggest you push yourself because that would be a full 90 second of split of, of um, skipping. Good stuff, Frank. You're doing such a great job. It's okay. It's just the fatigue is hitting in and it becomes a lot more difficult to get to those jumps in. Come on. I know you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. You made it, Frank. Yes. I mean, it's so easy for me to just go, you know, keep pushing, keep pushing. When I'm just standing here, I know the workout. Whoa, falling. I know the workout. I know you can make it. There's 15 seconds left. If you are pushing yourself for that last 15 seconds, do it. It's really important to push ourselves to the next level. But we will see you for a cool down. And it's really important to do it. So I'll see you there in three, two, one. Well done, everybody. You made it to the end of the workout. It's really important just to thank our bodies for what you just put it through. Just get that heart rate slowing down really start breathing nicely and getting back into that normal natural breath all right so because we did a full body workout we just do some nice arms get that elbow um, shoulder down and all of these if you feel like you need to do more of the stretch absolutely do so you don't have to follow i'm just doing i'm just giving you a nice guideline yeah okay, things there all right over the top good work and on the side. Good, good, good stuff. All right, we're just gonna stretch over, breathe out, and in and out. So every time you breathe out, just go further into the stretch, nice and easy. Just relax those muscles. Naturally, in your stretch, your muscles wanna contract and tense, but your steady breathing will allow them to just relax stretch those muscles out properly. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, come back to the center. And you're gonna release those knees, keeping your feet natural, uh, hip width distance. And you roll down, releasing the knees. And you're popping your weight forward. So placing your fingertips onto the floor, onto the floor and placing your weight into the fingertips. 
relaxing your head, relaxing everything in your body. We breathe in, and when we breathe out, we straighten those heels. Get a nice flow of breathing. Every time you breathe out, bring it further into that stretch. Relax those muscles. And bring your feet to release. Bring your feet together. And wrap your hands around. And we contract. Keeping that belly button to the spine, head to your pelvis, and breathe out. Relax and twist, stretch. Really get into that back. Placing your feet back to your hip width distance, keeping your knees released. Roll up really slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We're just going to end off with the neck so you can speak nice, feet nice. So it's not about pushing your neck down, just resting your hand on there. Maybe if you want to, you can just close your eyes, find your breath again, relax that body, release all the tension that's really going to help you going forward. It's going to help your muscles with recovery. Forward, just remember resting your arms, not pushing it down. You have been amazing. Zenzele Fitness wants to thank you for joining us for this workout. I hope you enjoyed the Ikaya Gym Box. We'll see you next time.